Investigators on scene of the deadly train derailment in Washington state say it appears the emergency brake kicked in automatically rather than being engaged by the engineer. Now, data recorders also show the Amtrak train was going too fast, and there are questions whether the engineer may have been distracted by a second person. CBS's Chris Martinez has the latest. Oversized load trucks hauled away the mangled train cars that flew off the tracks in Washington State Monday. The event data recorder shows the Amtrak train was traveling at 80 miles per hour in a 30 mile per hour zone. We were able to obtain the inward and outward facing cameras. Uh, they were unfortunately significantly damaged. At least three people were killed and dozens were injured on the maiden voyage of this newly opened train line. Drivers who saw the wreck stopped to help victims. Everybody that was inside was either killed or pinned underneath the train. Yeah, it's pretty sobering. The NTSB confirms that in addition to the engineer present in the locomotive cab, there was also a conductor learning the route. All of the crew was hospitalized. We have to keep this as a wake-up call. It's not acceptable that we are involved in these kinds of accidents. NTSB investigators say it appears the emergency brake kicked in automatically rather than being activated by the engineer. Technology known as positive train control could have slowed or stopped the train, possibly preventing the crash, but it was not in use on that stretch of track. Congress pushed back the mandatory implementation of PTC until the end of next year. Railroads basically went to Congress and said we're not going to operate unless we get relief. You couldn't just stop America's railroads. Congress caved in. The damaged train cars are being taken to nearby Joint Base Lewis McCord for further inspection. Chris Martinez, CBS News, DuPont, Washington. In 2015, eight people were killed in an Amtrak derailment in Philadelphia. Now, the National Transportation Safety Board ruled that that engineer was distracted and speeding.